Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel GSI PUC Mysore. Today is the fourth session of the fifth chapter that is operational amplifier. In the last three session of the same chapter, we saw what is an op amp. We also saw the block diagram of an op amp, the symbol of an op amp, characteristics of op amp and also we derived the relation of a voltage gain of the inverting and the non-inverting operational amplifier. In today's session, we will be dealing with voltage follower. Before that, let us try to glance the voltage gain equation of a inverting and non-inverting operational amplifier. The voltage gain that will be denoted by AV, if I am going to consider a inverting operational amplifier, the voltage gain formula AV which is nothing but the ratio of the output voltage and the input voltage is minus RF divided by Ri. Rf is nothing but the feedback resistor, Ri is nothing but the input resistor. If the source voltage is connected to the inverting input terminal, then that amplifier will be called as the inverting operational amplifier. If the input voltage is given to the non-inverting input terminal of the op amp, then that circuit will be called as the non-inverting operational amplifier. So this is the voltage gain formula of an inverting operational amplifier. So in this case, if RF and RI value are equal, if RF and RI value are same, then this gets cancelled. Uh, we will be left with V0 by VI is equal to minus 1 or V0 is equal to minus of VI. So, the output is just the inversion of the input signal. So, ethera, when RF value is equal to RI, then that circuit will be called as the op amp inverter. The op amp inverter. If the input signal is like this, if the input signal is like this, then we are going to get the signal, just the inversion of the input signal. Coming to the non-inverting operational amplifier, non-inverting operational amplifier, the gain of the non-inverting ap operational amplifier was given by AV, which is nothing but V0 by VI equal to 1 plus RF divided by RI. Where again V0 is the output voltage, VI input voltage, RF the feedback resistor and RA is nothing but the input resistor. Now let, let us try to understand what is voltage follower. The name itself is specifying, it follows the voltage. An amplifier whose output follows the input is called as the voltage follower. Let us try to understand this with the circuit. So this is the circuit what we are going to use as a voltage follower. Here the feedback is given to the inverting input terminal of the op amp but RF value is equal to 0. The function of this voltage follower will not change with or without the connection of the input resistance that is Ri. Here the input signal is given to the non-inverting input terminal of the op amp. As usual the output voltage will be denoted by V0. Since the input signal is connected to non-inverting input terminal of the op amp, the voltage gain formula that is equal to AV which is V0 divided by VI will be given by R1 plus RF divided by RI. Since RF value is equal to 0, I will be left with V0 by VI is equal to 1. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. So, V0 is equal to VI itself. Since the gain of the operational amplifier, the gain of this voltage follower is equal to 1. AV is nothing but V0 divided by VI, but that value is equal to 1 nagar in the E amplifier. Now, this voltage follower will also be called as the unity gain amplifier or the buffer amplifier. Buffer operational amplifier and the karate. So this voltage follower can either be called as a unity gain amplifier or the bu buffer operational amplifier. Why the name unity gain and the header AV value is equal to 1. AV is nothing but the ratio of output voltage to the input voltage whose value is equal to 1. Hagagi either the unity gain amplifier and the naru kari bodu atva buffer uh, amplifier which is used for impedance matching. Impedance matching and rain on the last session I heard it in. Impedance, input impedance has to be high and the output impedance has to be low and then I already discussed in this topic. So the impedance matching is very very important when I am going to connect 
different stages of the amplifier when I am going to connect the output of one amplifier as the input of for the second stage of the amplifier. So impedance matching plays a very very important role and for that impedance matching we can use this voltage follower circuit. After this let us try to solve some problems. So this is the problem what they have given. Find the output voltage for the given circuit. First try to analyze the circuit and identify to which terminal of the op amp the input signal is applied. Here VI is the input signal and that is being applied to the inverting uh, input terminal of the op amp. So this is the inverting operational amplifier. So just write the formula of the voltage gain of a inverting operational amplifier. AV equals V0 divided by VI is equal to minus RF divided by RI. You can just ignore this part and you will be left with only this part. They have, they have asked the output voltage. So V0 is just try to manipulate this expression. V0 is equal to minus RF divided by RI of VI. Now in this particular circuit diagram, this is nothing but Ri, this is Rf. Namge inverting operational amplifier do diagram nen pirvik namge. So this is the Rf. This is Ri input voltage and this is grounded. So Rf value is 200 kilo ohm. Ri value is 4 kilo ohm and the input voltage is 2.5 milli volts. Milli antandre is to milli antandre its value is 10 to the power of minus 3. Here 4 kilo ohms, kilo antandre 10 to the power of plus 3. So let us substitute those values over here. V0 equals minus of Rf value is 200 kilo, 200 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by Ri value is 4 kilo ohms. 4 into 10 to the power of 3 and VI value is 2.5 milli, milli and 10 to the power of minus 3. 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 3 cancel agatha. This is 4 50 times 50 into 2.5 gives us 125 into 10 to the power of minus 3. Minus sign in either the kage retain mark. 125 into 10 to the power of minus 3, I am measuring the output voltage. So the unit for voltage is V volts. So V0 is equal to minus 125 milli volts. The problems are very very simple in this uh, chapter. The only thing is you have to identify correctly for which terminal of the op amp the input signal is applied and formulas on correct name you can solve these problems very very easy. Let us look into the second problem. This is the problem what they have given. Calculate the input voltage when V0 is equal to 11 volts. V0 that is nothing but the output voltage. So output voltage koti dare. Calculate the input voltage. Input voltage and the head of the VI. I have to find out this VI. First try to identify the source is connected to which terminal of the op amp. Here this itself is the source. The source is connected to non-inverting input terminal of the op amp. So this is a non-inverting operational amplifier. So just write the formula for the non-inverting operational amplifier. V0 by VI equals 1 plus RF divided by RI. RF and the head of the feedback resistor, RI and the head of the input resistor. Now we have to find VI. VI candidate V0 koti dare nange. Substitute there itself. 11 divided by VI equals 1 plus 100 kilo divided by 10 kilo. 100 kilo divided by 10 kilo. Kilo are 10 to the power of plus 3. Kilo cancel agate. 1s are 10s are. So this is equal to 1 plus 10 is equal to 11. 11 divided by VI equals 11. Now just cross multiply. In agate, 11 divided by 11 equal to VI. 11, 11 cancel agate. Ulyo denu. VI is equal to 1 volt. So this is the final answer. Problems are very simple, right? Only thing you have to remember the formula and identify which operational amplifier the circuit is. So, yaw thara, yen koti dare, yen 
ಕಂಡಿಡಿಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಗೊತ್ತು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಆಮೇಲಿಂದ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ನ ಕಂಡಿಡಿಯಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಸೊ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಟು ಅನಲೈಸ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರ ಆರ್ ಎಫ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿಲ್ಲ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಶಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂದರೆ ದಿಸ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಫಾಲೋವರ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇದ್ ದ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ನಾನ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯಮ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಫಾಲೋವರ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ವಿ ನಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಐ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಐ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಅವರೇ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ತ್ರೀ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ವಿ ನಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಐ ಏನೋ ತ್ರೀ ವೋಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ when rf value is not given and the input signal is being applied to non inverting uh, input terminal of the op amp then that circuit is a voltage follower so these are the three different problems for three different topics that is inverting in the one inverting operational amplifier in the one problem non inverting operational amplifier in the one the voltage follower in the on the problem na solve madide all these problems are very very simple but one thing you have to remember the formula and identify which operational amplifier is given now it's time to have a look on the part 2 of this session hello everyone welcome back to the part 2 of this session in the last session we discussed about what is op amp and the most commonly used op amp ic741 was discussed in detail so in this session we are going to see the different packages available in the market so there are totally five different types of uh, op amps present in the market the very first one as seen in the picture that is the ic741 uh, of amp which we have already discussed in the last session so now we will move on to the next type of package that is tlc 271 programmable op amp tlc 271 from the texas instrument is a programmable op amp in an 8 pin dil that is dual inline package but other packages are also available this offers a range of programmable power consumption modes selected by the level of voltage applied to the bias select pin totally there are eight pins out of which the eighth pin is the bias select pin a programmable gain amplifier is nothing but a pga is an electronic amplifier which is typically an op amp whose gain can be controlled by external digital or analog signals the gain can be set from less than 1 volts to over 100 volts let us try to see some of the applications of this product so popular applications of these products are motor control signal and sensor conditioning so what is this motor control a motor controller is nothing but a device or a set of devices that helps in regulating the manner in which the motor works a controller is also able to engage the motor into forward or reverse rotation protecting electrical fails etc these are the things which is uh, controlled with the help of this op amp the second one is signal conditioning so what is this signal conditioning it is nothing but the manipulation of a signal in a way that prepares it for the next stage of processing for example thermocouple signal has a uh, very small voltage levels that must be amplified before they can be digitalized so this is the example for signal conditioning so it is popularly used in a motor control and signal and sensor conditioning applications with this i am going to end up this session thank you i'll wind up this fourth session at this point i'll be coming soon with the next session until then take care bye bye